Hi friends, this is Dawn from Morality and Media. I just wanted to introduce you to our mini campaigns or catch you up to speed on our new aggressive approach to combat the harms of pornography. We have a number of new efforts that we've launched in the last couple years and I think some of you might be a little lost as to what we're doing and so we want to make sure you're caught up and you can choose which uh, which campaigns to be involved in and participate in. So we've been around for 50 years. It's a long time. We started in New York in 1962 and um, we've been very involved in the fight against pornography over the years and have had a number of successes. Um, I just wanted to show you some of our efforts. We've um, changed a little bit our around we changed our websites around a little bit um, so pornharms.com which many of you know used to be our research site we've just moved that a little bit and wanted to make it a little bit easier for you to figure out what we're doing and find the resources and the activities you'd like to participate in so we've listed them all out here um, and invite you to take a look at all of them but I just want to show you some of the ones I think are, are kind of our biggest efforts. So we have, we moved pornharms.com, the research site, to pornharmsresearch.com. And here we've gathered almost a thousand articles divided by category. Most of them are peer-reviewed research articles, but we've also gathered relevant news and opinion articles that just talk about the harms of pornography. And it's divided by, by category. So if, for instance, you're interested in learning more about addiction and the research behind that or what it does to your brain, um, how it affects children, so forth, it, how it's linked to prostitution and sex trafficking, you can come here and, and read some of the articles. Uh, we're still updating the site a little bit to make it more user friendly, but I, I think you'll find a lot of good um, resources here. It's also, we've gathered a number of resources. Many of you contact us who are suffering in some way or another from the consequences of pornography. So we've tried to gather uh, various places you can find help. Um, we've got resources for addicts, for the spouses or partners of addicts, for parents. Uh, it's often a hard thing to deal with if your child is addicted or if they've been exposed and you're not really sure how to deal with that. A, a lot of groups are out there that have made, um, you know, who've created some good content and helpful resources for you. Um, for other victims, if you've suffered and another way that we don't yet have listed here, you can hopefully find some other groups out there willing to help you. And we're always adding to this, so usually we add um, the groups who come to us or people recommend them to us. So if you have other recommendations, make sure that you tell us and we'll add you here. We also have the War on Illegal Pornography Coalition. Many of you have heard about this too and, and participated. Uh, we launched this effort two years ago uh, because, I guess a little bit more background is, uh, majority of the hardcore adult pornography that is now the mainstream type of pornography available is actually illegal under existing federal obscenity laws. However, under the current administration, those laws are not being enforced. Not one single case has been brought against pornographers who are breaking the law. And so basically we're giving them a free pass to do whatever they want. And, continue to exploit you know hundreds of victims so we are calling on the Justice Department to begin enforcing those laws and we've gone about it in a few different ways we've built a huge coalition right now we're about 126 national state and local groups and we're all working together to um, make sure that these laws get enforced we're working closely with members of Congress almost half of the Senate is on our side and and uh, helping to pressure the Justice Department to do their job. Um, we've contacted all the presidential candidates. Romney, Santorum, and Gingrich have all stated that they're in support of enforcing these laws and that if they were elected that they would. Um, 25,000 emails were sent by hundreds of you, thousands of you, um, since September to the presidential candidates, including to President Obama. And that's why we've heard back from them. So thank you. You can learn more about this effort here at warinillegalpornography.com. We have a number of updates always going on. Um, there's a lot of different action items. There's always someone to contact, someone to call, so check it out. Also, if you're interested in learning more about the laws, 
Um, you can read some more about that here on this website as well. Another effort that we have underway, it's really just getting off the ground, but it's called Safe Schools, Safe Libraries Project. Um, so the, the problem is that a lot of libraries and, and schools either have no filters in place or inadequate filters, and many of our children are being exposed to pornography in these places, and adults as well, people who don't want to see this are being forced to see it because someone is, you know, sitting there in public viewing it. And so uh, this has created a, a number of dangers in these what were once safe places. And uh, we're calling on individuals, just grassroots individuals like you, to just stand up, go to your library in your school, find out what filters are in place, and ask for the filter for adequate filters to be installed. Um, there's a number of things that you can do, and we've talked with many, many other groups and individuals who have been successful in this, and gathered a lot of tools for you. You can find some of those here, or you can contact us, and we'll send you a packet. We are here to help you the whole way. We've seen in numerous places that it often just takes one person to go ask for these filters to be installed and they will be and it saves so many you know just a couple days ago I went to my local library in Alexandria Virginia and I was asking the librarian about the problem of pornography and she told me they do have filters and the filters are good and actually the state laws in Virginia are, are pretty solid but she said it's still a huge problem so especially if you know she said once a week sometimes more often they have to kick people out of the library for looking at pornography or even masturbating there in public. So this is a bigger problem. And if they don't have filters in place, it's going to be an even bigger one. So we're asking you to do something about that. You can go to safelibraryproject.com or safeschoolssafelibraries.com. You can contact us, and we'll send you a lot of more information. Where We have gathered a lot of resources and other experts who can help you in your area. So that's one. And the other one I wanted to talk to you about is our Be Aware Porn Harms National Awareness Campaign. We started this last year for the first time because so many people were coming to us asking for help and resources. Others were saying, where's the proof that pornography harms? And we have, um, have networked a lot with other groups who have the help needed that people are looking for. And so we decided to just try to help you all find each other and um, and also help raise awareness and educate the public about the many harms of pornography. So we've launched efforts about three times a year. We'll hold this campaign, a two-week campaign, where we'll have experts from all different types of areas. We'll have um, you know addiction experts, doctors, therapists, uh, internet safety experts, uh, some religious leaders, feminist leaders, just get on their computer and hold live conferences with you all so that you understand where they're coming from and where the res what the research is saying, uh, what the harms are, what you can do. We've given away hundreds of free subscriptions to filters and addiction recovery software. We've provided a lot of support for uh, partners and spouses of addicts. Um, so this is a big, a big uh, new effort that we're doing and it's really changing. We're trying to harness the power of the internet and help just bring all of these resources to you. Um, so our next campaign is April 15th to the 29th and we're scrambling here trying to finalize all the events but soon they'll be, they'll be at this website pornharms.com slash be aware. Um, again you can find all of these uh, different campaigns and resources, volunteer opportunities at our main website, pornharms.com, and we invite you to do that, uh, to look around and then let us know how you'd like to participate. Thank you for your support and for just not leaving us alone in this fight. We really need all the help that we can get.